Colonizing Mars has emerged as a major focus of discussion in the area of space exploration during the last several years. Exploring what would happen if humans were to successfully inhabit Mars is a fascinating endeavor, given that organizations such as NASA and private firms such as SpaceX are striving towards this objective. To begin with and most importantly, in order for humanity to successfully colonize Mars, we would need to first and foremost create innovative technologies and modes of transportation. As things stand, the trip to Mars may take anywhere from 6 to 8 months, which means that people will need to be transported aboard spacecraft that can provide for their needs for that whole period of time. After we get to Mars, we will need to construct dwellings that are able to shield us from the hostile climate of the planet, which includes dust storms and very high temperatures. In the event that we were to be successful in establishing a colony on Mars, the potential advantages to humanity may be enormous. To begin, it would be a significant advance in the direction of making humans a multi-planetary species, which would assist secure the continued existence of our species in the event that a disaster occurred on Earth. The settlement of Mars may also result in scientific breakthroughs that broaden our understanding of the cosmos and pave the way for the development of innovative technology. Yet, there are also several obstacles that would need to be overcome in order to successfully colonize Mars. The planet does not have an atmosphere that is capable of supporting life, therefore this presents one of the greatest obstacles. The majority of the atmosphere on Mars is made up of carbon dioxide, which is a gas that is harmful to humans if they inhale it in high enough concentrations. To be able to live on Mars, humans would need to have the ability to generate an atmosphere that is livable, a process known as terraforming. The absence of liquid water on Mars presents another another obstacle to the establishment of human settlements there. Since water is necessary for all forms of life, it would be very challenging to maintain a human colony on Mars in the absence of a dependable water supply. While there is some evidence that Mars formerly had water, it is still unknown if there is sufficient water on the planet to support a major colony. In addition to all of these obstacles, populating Mars would also need an enormous financial investment. The price tag for creating the requisite technology as well as transporting people and supplies to Mars would be over the roof. On the other hand, there are many who believe that the potential advantages of populating Mars might, in the long term, exceed the costs. What would it be like to live on Mars, supposing that we were able to overcome the obstacles that stand in our way and successfully populate the planet? To begin, the atmosphere on Mars would be very unlike to that found on Earth in almost every way. Mars has a far thinner atmosphere than Earth does, which implies that the temperature of Mars is much lower. In point of fact, the typical temperature on Mars is somewhere around minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit, which means that colonists would need to live in shelters that have climate control and wear protective clothing. In addition, the gravity on Mars is only around 38% of the gravity that exists on Earth. Since muscle and bone loss, along with other health difficulties, may be caused by extended exposure to low gravity, this would have a lot of repercussions for the human body's ability to function properly. To protect themselves against this, colonists would need to maintain a healthy lifestyle by engaging in frequent physical activity and maybe making use of cutting-edge medical technology. In spite of these obstacles, a human existence on Mars may also be very thrilling and gratifying. Colonists would have the chance to explore a new planet and the possibility of making scientific discoveries that might alter the trajectory of human history. Living on Mars would also demand a high level of self-sufficiency and collaboration, both of which might lead to the emergence of new forms of social and political order. In conclusion, colonizing Mars is an enterprise that is not only difficult but also complicated, but it is also one that has the potential to provide enormous advantages for mankind.